but I managed to put in a code sensor request. And this wonderful woman with 20 minutes notice dropped everything, came and picked me up on the side of the road in Regina. That's where I am. I'm in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. And uh, it was midnight, pouring rain. She comes out and just picks me up. So, uh, for those of you that don't think that there's angels, look around you. There are angels everywhere. That's right. I'm couch surfing with a baby. Hi. Hi there. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you for giving me some of your space. You got the best mummy in the whole world. Yes, you do. I'm uh, kind of overwhelmed with gratitude right now. I made it from Calgary, Alberta to Regina, Saskatchewan. It's about uh, 850 kilometers in one day. I got a thumb. I found my thumb. I'm kind of fond of this thumb. I'm starting to think that it was overly ambitious of me to think that I would be able to sleep outdoors. I'm not so sure, but maybe it was just because the weather was so terrible the first uh, first day. But uh, I don't know. If the weather could get worse, um, but I don't know if it will get worse anytime soon. So, off to Winnipeg. My new friend Zach. Zach picked me up in what's the name? White, oh, City? White City. White City, yeah. Saskatchewan, just outside, just outside of Regina. And uh, we're going to end up in uh, white, wood. White, white Wood. Lots of white things in Saskatchewan. White Wood, White City, White Folk. And Zach, from, you're from Kimberly, right? Yeah. This is home. But if the name sounds familiar to you, if you've been reading internet blogs for a long time, you might be remember the one red paper clip which somebody actually managed to trade for a house here in Kipling and it became so famous they actually put a giant red paper clip. This is not the authentic paper clip that it was traded for, that was actually a paper clip. So uh, I've, always, I've always loved, I've always been absolutely fascinated with the, like there are places in the states like the world's largest yarn oh, yeah. like and the biggest motorcycle in the world so here's a giant red paper clip and it is actually it's the world's largest red paper clip which is awesome and then we're going to go to the house which is now a restaurant we brought bread and lunch it's a cafe there so awesome zach for picking me up you're awesome zach is ride number three so here we are and this is actually the house that McDonald traded for uh, the one red paperclip. Okay, so this is the inside of the paperclip house, now called the cottage. It's supposed, it's going to be, I've been assured that it's going to be the best food in all of Saskatchewan. And we're going up, it's all open upstairs. And it's amazing that in one year he traded the paperclip. Uh, here's some stories about the paperclip. And he traded the paper clip for this very nice. Oh, so the whole house has been converted into into restaurant seating and everything. It's not just the downstairs. Oh, that's it. Wow. It opened most of the year and shut down for a couple of months. What in the dead of winter? December to March. They oh yeah. Vacation. Shut down, but it's awesome. There's local art and everything all over the place. Shut off the lights, so shutting off the lights, it's kind of like. I'm not doing anything like this. It is, this is so cool. It's just a, just a little house that got converted into a nice restaurant. That's awesome. If you need a pair of these downstairs, you can talk to the other man. Sure, Leo, let's, let's keep downstairs. Definitely a different road to tell, but not very nice. Ooh. Dirt road through Saskatchewan. Woo! Here's Zach, future rally driver. Hopefully. Well, that thing that got up there. You'll 
do it. Like they say, do what you love, you never work a day in your life. So, all right, it's uh, a day and a half since my journey began. I started at about uh, 4.30. Uh, Calgary time at uh, 2.30 I should say Calgary time and have managed to get to Winnipeg the city where I have my earliest memories I lived here until I was six years old and I uh, have very very few memories I do remember my house and I remember uh, the school across the street and the skating rink that I learned to skate on and uh, I'm gonna try and get over there and get a few pictures and 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 sit in some memories. Um, I managed to uh, catch a ride with Zach to Whitewood, Saskatchewan, and it was pouring down rain. And I had to wait. It wasn't that long. I should say I had to wait. I got to wait. Uh, I don't know, maybe about 35 minutes, and then a trucker named Ar me up and uh, brought me all the way to just right outside of Winnipeg, basically Winnipeg on the outskirts. And I'm meeting up with my uh, host, my couch surfing host. He lives on Spence Street in Winnipeg. And uh, fortunately the bus runs, it's about 1.30 in the morning. The bus runs uh, the last time at 5.50 and will take me more or less right to his front door. So uh, a day and a half and I've made it, I think it's, I want to say 1,500 square miles, uh, 1,500 square miles, 1,500 kilometers. Jeez, talking American again. Uh, but uh, all in all, what a fantastic trip so far. If you've never done this, do it. Hitchhiking is not dead. It's awesome. Uh, the journey is the destination.